Hi everybody, Peaks here again. Um, it's been a couple of weeks since I did a video. Uh, yep. Um, I did my 12 week weigh-in yesterday. And, uh, oh, actually before I get to yesterday's weigh-in, uh, my 11th week weigh-in, um, on my 11th week, I lost 2.5 kilos. So that's five and a half pounds. And yesterday, my 12th week weigh-in, I lost 3.8 kilos last week. So that's like 8.3 pounds last week. So my weight now is 212.2 kilos or 467.8 pounds. Yeah, so 212.2 down from 265.6 so um, I've been sell I had a minor sort of celebration today and just give myself a little bit of a pat on the back but I broke the 50 kilo mark last week so I've lost 53.4 kilos in 12 weeks and yeah, pretty cool. Um, so I've got a, about 112 to get down to my goal weight. Yeah, but um, yeah. So last two weeks, what's been happening? Okay, so my eleventh week, I went saw met. Had an appointment with my new GP. Um, he's pretty close here, and I've been going to um, going there to weigh myself like the previous month, um, which has been real handy. And so he's he's pretty cool, pretty down to earth doctor, and he's I don't know we're building good rapport already, so I feel confident with him as my general general practitioner. So yep, happy with that. Um, I had a sleep apnea sleep clinic appointment where I went in and I got them to adjust, have a look at my machine, my CPAP machine and adjust um, the pressure because I was having a bit of troubles with like, I don't know if you've ever seen any of those, any videos on YouTube or on TV of people skydiving. And it's like their mouth is just like open and well, that's what it feels like, had, had been feeling like every night. Like if I ever woke up, my mouth was just bone dry, like completely dry, my tongue, the whole inside, because the air was just like blowing through. And um, felt like my eardrums were going to pop as well. So I was been worried about my teeth being dry and I could get pretty sensitive teeth and I can't deal with teeth pain so you know, went back and saw got them to adjust it. And they were the doctor was happy with my rate loss so far and she um they didn't do an overnight sleep study to see exactly where I'm at, but she lowered it down a few few uh points whatever it is but um yeah I've actually got my sleep at I, in one of my earlier videos um I said I'd I'd show everybody my sleep apnea mask it's like really embarrassing but I thought you know it's quite novelty so I'll put that on but it's really funny because I don't know I'm just glad I'm not single because if 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 I was starting a new relationship and someone, someone had to come home and stay with me and I had to put this on at the end of the night, I would be so embarrassed. So my partner's really happy that she can sleep while I'm wearing it, but he goes nothing I put on. Mm. So that's what it looks like. Mm. Oh, I feel like I'm in Slipknot or something. <laughs> the mask. But, um, yeah, I've been wearing that for a bunch of years now, and 
some family have seen it, like have been staying at their place and wake up in the morning and they get a shock and come and see it on my face. But it's like that scar there. Also, I wanted to ask them about that because it was starting to make a scar there. But um, so they gave me a, some new parts and a new band. So yeah, I'm hoping. I've been told and I'm hoping it doesn't work the same with everybody, but when I get right down and lose my weight that I, I may not have to wear the mask again. So um, that'll be awesome because I've had the machine for about almost 10 years. I haven't worn it for that whole time because I wasn't comfortable wearing it for years there, but I had been noticing it, you know, going to work shift work and not wearing the mask, I was feeling sleepy all the time, you know. And I was worried when I went to one of my appointments, I didn't want to lose my license, asking me questions like, do you fall asleep? Do you feel like you're going to fall asleep in your car when you're at the lights? And it's like, oh, no. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I've been wearing it regularly for, for a couple of years now, and it's, like, heaps better. But I do look forward to the day. Uh, hopefully I don't have to wear it anymore. <clears throat> but um, yeah, so I went to see Pat at the clinic and yeah, bit of an update there. Um, my ankle, um, I'm probably going to go and get another, the GP gave me a, a uh, what do you call it, a thing to go and get another x-ray in like another week or two. So do that and see how my ankles going it's still really it's like an inch thicker on my the, my outside left the outside um, of my left ankle but it's it's like the bone healing but it's like quite thick but um I've just stopped wearing the moon boot over this weekend just passed and I'm trying it out of starting to get back into the pool more regularly and I've been pushing it really hard over the weekend. Mm. and it's not too bad my leg on that side's noticeably worn away in like that month it sort of lost some definition there so that's a bit I thought that was a bit freaky so yeah um side stepping in the pool because uh yeah so i do a couple of kilometers in the pool like forwards backwards sideways knee raises um started doing lunges again they were really setting off my ankle um, when I was still trying to just after I injured my ankle and I was still going to the pools so that was the exercise at the time I was doing that was really setting off so I've just started to do those and I'm taking a little bit easy on that but um, okay it's not too bad when I do the side step in the pool I can feel I can hear clicking on my ankle. If I'm walking one way, it's not so bad, but if I'm walking back the other, I can feel my ankle. It's sort of, I can feel a tendency to want to roll a bit. And I can hear it clicking, so I take it uh, a bit slower going that particular direction. But um, uh, it's getting there. It's, I think it's getting there. I do think I've damaged the tendons on that side, and that's probably. You know, I don't know. You know, I still get a little bit of pain, a little bit of pain, not too bad. But uh, working on that, the pulls, the original pulls I started going to are back in full swing now, so that's great. Um, it's really good with my shift work if I keep it in that middle section of the day. You know, or after say eight and between eight a.m. and four p.m. in in between there, it's great. I tried early this week going after like around six o'clock and it was packed and there was heaps of kids, heaps of kids on the diving boards and on the water slides and I was like, oh. and I was lucky to get a lane to do my stuff. So, you know, I was, the next day I went much earlier and I was like almost empty. So, you know, that was heaps better. So pools, mangles, sleep apnea, what else? Um, Last week, my 11th week, 
it was just a coincidence that I didn't do the video, but I, because I did see the surgeon and it might be another four months or so or less until I'd be able to get the sleeve gastrectomy. Um, I thought I might start spreading out my videos now, maybe just every second week, but um, coincidence, I did last week, I did have a bit of a low week and it was the first low week I've had um, since starting this journey. But uh, it wasn't too bad, but it was a bit of a worry, like I was conscious you know, after seeing the surgeon, and my, I, I had the timeline in my head completely wrong. Um, I'm not sure why, but um, I was under the impression that it would happen sooner. So I try not to let it bum me out too much, but it did get to me a little bit last week because, uh, you know, unfortunately, I'm a really all or nothing person which has its good and negatives and positives. On the positive side, I've been able to achieve what I have in the last 12 weeks due to being all or nothing. But um, I'm going off track a bit there, but like my main thing that I need to work on is balance. But um, yeah, I've been going the whole hog trying to get to the point where I could get the medical intervention to help me on. But since the goalposts, they just sort of disappeared right out of sight, in a manner of speaking, you know, months away. That's just, it sort of uh, bummed me out a little bit last week. But um, I just kept pushing through. And um, this week I've felt much better managed to, you know, I've, yeah, just keep going. I, I had a, um, I posted a few things on Facebook, that was, you know, Facebook, uh, Peaks Journey, Facebook, check it out. Um, I, um, yeah, I put my, just getting some of the feedback on Facebook about how I'm doing my progress with my journey, that's, has been uplifting for me to get some good, some more good feedback and make me feel good and proud. You know, remember this is what I've done so far, and you know, keep going. And just to see that other people are inspired and well, like I'm not doing it to impress people because this is, you know, you, but but if through what I'm doing does inspire and impress people, well. That's well. That's awesome, you know. But um, so that sort of helped me feel a bit more better and positive. And you know, on my Facebook page, one of the last things, one of the things that I've been doing in the last couple of weeks, um, at work, I've stumbled across, like with my morning shake on Optifast. I actually, because I'm working at a in a cafe setting for one week out of three, every three weeks. Um, came across, I decided to try a um, double shot of coffee and mix my OptiFast chocolate shake with it and a couple of equals and um, then I'd chuck it in the microwave for a minute and it's like, it's awesome. It's like, I was like the nicest thing, one of the nicest things in my diet for like months and months, it like, feels like a real treat. but um. I noticed after on my weeks off not working at the cafe, I was like, mm, really hanging out. So I've been going to like a local gas station, the BP or Z, and just grabbing a, like a double shot and a large uh, double shot of espresso and a large takeaway cup. And they look at me like, what? Do you want some more water in that? Or do you want some milk in that? Or like, and I just explain. And they're like, okay. But, uh, you know, that's like five bucks for that, four or five bucks, depending where you go. And I thought, um, I looked it up in line and today I rewarded, I did something for myself just to reward myself for how, how that I've been going. And 
So I went and bought like a a Breville, uh, an, ex an espresso machine, coffee machine for at home and uh, a coffee burr grinder. And yeah, so now I can do my little, in the morning do my shots and, you know, do my shot and add it to my breakfast and coffee a day. I don't, I don't use any dairy products. So the um, OptiFast chocolate shake is like nicer than milk. I think it's like nicer than milk, so that's awesome coffee day. But um, yeah, so that's my little reward for myself. I've read up on some material about coffee and the arguments back and forwards, and some say coffee's really bad for you, and other ones say coffee in moderation's good for you. So you know, a coffee or two a day, I'm happy to go with that, and uh, you know, info supports that that's good for you. Of course, anything to the extreme, if you end up having well, 30 cups of coffee a day, it's going to, blood pressure will go through, I don't know. But um, I'm happy because, yeah, just loving that. It's a real cool treat and bust out on that. But, um, yeah, so what else? Um, so, anyway, this is my 12th week video. I'm just in my 13th week. Now I'm hoping that uh, some miracle will happen and I'll get to uh, further into the process sooner rather than later. But um, I feel like I've only got one shot, so I really can't stuff this up. Like if I'm putting all my effort into getting to that next point, but. I, you know, in a few different minds, I don't want to stuff it up by losing too much weight and then I've gone through that window where before I was too heavy so I didn't fit, I wasn't eligible and if I lose too much weight then I won't be, I won't be eligible again to get it done through the public system, so, you know, I'm just realigning my thoughts and, okay, get it all clear, yep, and, um, the other thing I started with the meals, I started adding in like stir fry. I had my first stir fry today. And uh, yeah, that was nice. A couple of, about two and a half cups um, of veggies. And um, my dietitian said I could have two to four a day, but around, around two, I just did like a bit of a soy sauce veggie stir fry. I think today I did actually, if that blanked out for a sec, it was just because the mouse hadn't, hadn't moved anything. But um, yeah, I think I might have added a little bit too much soy today, so tomorrow I'll, I'll perfect that. It just was a bit salty and I wasn't used, well, you know, I haven't had, had any salt for like months. So um, yeah, that was better. And the salty end, but it was yum, yum as. So that's good, I'm going to keep that up, I'll probably drop off one of the OptiFast. So, because I have been having four OptiFast meal replacements a day, plus a piece of fruit or prunes, and the water. But so now I might have just three, and um, three, and then the veggies, and a piece of fruit. And um, some days I might mix the chicken soup in with it, like use it as a thickener chicken soup with veggies and some curry in it or something, make like curried veggies. So on the days like that, that'll take away from one of my other OptiFast meals. So I might add in like a bit of jelly, as they call it over here, jelly, and then I was jelly. America or jello, yeah. So I might use some Weight Watchers jelly, have a bit of that just to bridge that gap. But um, yeah. So that's going good. That's part of my new <laughs> integration into what I've been doing. It's like something new. Mm. You know, the it's not so bad. I tend to, when new things come along, I might freak out a little bit. Oh, but then if I wrap my head around it and then start doing it, uh, yeah, it's all good. So um, yeah, we're progressing through. I've got. I'm thinking about. Now, like, since I do have a bit of time, 
and I'm aware that I noticed in a lot of videos with people that have gone through the surgery um, due to a lot of a lack of being able to intake enough protein that um, you know building muscle is probably not that possible but I'm thinking now since I've got this extra time till the surgery Maybe I can do a bit of a trade-off where I might start muscle training a bit more just to build up a bit more and you know I'll be losing weight but I'll be gaining a bit of muscle so that may help. I don't know, thinking about it now because then that'll end up burning off again after the operation most likely but at least it'll I'll be able to get a little bit of a head start and get a bit more muscle tone and stuff back definition and a bit a little bit more bulk, muscle wise, <laughs> um, whilst I can, you know, well I'm not sure, I'm, I'm just thinking about that, looking up info and seeing, you know, get wrapping my head around that, so that's a possibility, I'm already, I've already paid membership for the pools and they've got a full gym in there and everything, so that's already paid for, and um, so that could be something I transition into as well for the, you know, another phase. But uh, yeah, something for me to think about. And um, yeah, one thing I, I, I had a performance at work. This is on another track of something in my life, but performing in music and bands and that. So. You know, I withdrew out of my last band to take a year off to really work on my physical health and, you know, get get my fitness back so I can get out there and kick some ass <laughs> again, you know. But, um, yeah, so when you're on stage, you, you get a real buzz from, I get a real buzz from performing to people and having people enjoy that too, you know, and it's, I've missed that, but at work I, I um, did a performance with one of the ladies that had an art exhibition and I put some of my music to her poems, so she did a spoken word and she did one with singing and so I got to perform, there was only like a small crowd of like 50 people, but it was good to have that little bit of a buzz too to bring it back because it's, yeah, had miss, missing that. But, um, so that's another area of my life as I'm getting my fitness back. I'm going to hone my skills even more. So when I get back out there, it's bigger and better. Smaller, bigger and better. Faster. <laughs> um, yeah, so. But I'm... Um, even though I did have a low week, I'm, I'm back. I feel like I'm on top of stuff again. Stuff I've gone through a bit of a door to something, another phase that's from to bridge the gap from where I was in previous weeks to where I've got to go in the next uh, few months till the surgery. But um, yeah, people, more people have been saying to me, well, you're doing really well. Do you really think you need the surgery? Like I've said in previous videos, the only reason, the only thing that gave me the strength to do what I'm doing at the moment and to have been able to lose 53.4 kilos in 12 weeks was the fact that I felt I could do it if I could get to this first point where I could get physical intervention that would help me get the rest of the way. I didn't feel I could start I didn't feel safe, safe, I didn't feel like I had, but uh, knowing that I could get the surgery if I got from A to B, that gave, put a safety net there that just ticked in my mind, it flicked the switch and made it possible for me to get, to start and get going. So I still believe I do need, I do need and I, and I also want the surgery, it's part of my plan, you know. I don't feel if things change too much, it really shakes at the moment, you know. 
I I'm really I really scope things out. Whatever it is, if I'm gonna buy something, I'll suss it out online backwards. I'll download the manuals, you know, on that type of person and I'll suss it all out when I go to a shop to buy a new amplifier or something. Whatever it is. I know everything about the product and everything around it as well. So, you know, for me I can be a bit obsessive about my journey, but for me, if I do that, then I can really clear up and hone it. So, yeah, that's one been one of the tricks. But on the downside, if something comes and knocks that out, it can really does unsettle me a bit. So, you know, the quicker I can pull it back into focus, okay. You know, that's like on earlier videos too. I've talked about of try to straighten up and focus the things that I have got control over but other things just come along and put it out and you can't what can you do you know so just got to deal with stuff as it happens and you know I'm, feel, I'm feeling a bit of renewed focus and you know and seeing the results so far so 117.7 pounds lost in 12 weeks. That's crazy amazing. You know, I don't, I think there'd probably be a lot of professionals out there that wouldn't recommend that because it's pretty extreme, but really I've been trying hard, but at the same time I haven't, I don't feel like I've been, I just feel like I've been focused. I don't feel like I've done it crazily or really you know so it's it does it hasn't felt that hard it's last week's felt hard but besides initially starting the first week physical cramps and that most of it's felt really it quite bizarrely has felt quite easy you know I don't can't explain it but yeah but um, yeah, this video is 27 minutes long already. That's crazy. I'm not, I don't know if I'll get around to splitting it up, but I'll put it down. I better cut it short. So 12 week weigh-in as of yesterday, the 19th of August, 2013, I weigh 212.2 kilos. Um, my journey started 12 weeks ago and I've lost 53.4 kilograms. So, I've lost 117.7 pounds, and I currently weigh 467.8 pounds. Um, yeah, so I'm 212.2 kilos, and my goal weight to get down is 100 kilos. So I've got 112.2 kilos to go. I'm going to have to get there one way or another, but... Um, yeah. So, to see how I go, if I don't do a video next um, next week, it'll be the week after. But um, till then, again, thank you everybody for watching my videos. If you want to join me on Facebook, it's a bit more of a real-time thing happening there. I haven't yet posted my any of these videos on Facebook, but I have got a link on there to come back to my Peaks Journey page. But, um, yep, so Facebook, Peaks Journey, same deal. Um, check it out, like Leave a comment. Awesome. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.